Howdy y'all, Lone Star Rider here. I've got a product review. The Viking Moto Motorcycle Backpack. Y'all stick around. Guys, I am so glad y'all stuck around. I received this bag from uh, Viking Bags and uh, they wanted me to review this. So I've had this bag for probably a little over a month now and it's been a really, really good everyday carry bag. Uh, there are some things I don't like about it. I'll tell you about those and I'll tell you the good things. Uh, the overall view, if I was going to give a um, best out of 10, would be I'd give this bag a nine. There's only a couple things I don't like. <laughs> so if you want to see what the rest of the review is, stick around. Well, so I guess you want to see the rest of the review on this bag right here. No, it doesn't have this patch on it, but I put it there. Anyway, this is what the bag looks like right here. The bag has three zippers on the outside. It has the main zipper here. So you can get into the main compartment and it has two smaller ones. You can't put a whole lot of things in there, but you can put like wallets and credit cards and some other stuff like that. And it has one on the other side. It has a waist strap so you can shore it down around your waist, take off the pressure on your back. The uh, straps are really nice straps. They're padded and they're vented and uh, they're nice and thick. It does come with a sternum strap, which is not adjustable up and down, but it is adjustable across the chest. And it's a regular plastic clip in there. Now there are two additional pockets on this thing which are on the outside. Let's see here if I can get this close enough. Right here is a Velcro pocket. You can put some stuff in. And then there's one at the top, which I found very useful. You put it, put some stuff in there. Now the one thing I wished it did have that it doesn't is here on the top of the bag. I wish there was a zipper pocket right here, just so you could store like your sunglasses and stuff, a very quick access pocket. That would be really nice. Now, the, the side pockets do make up a little bit for that. The other thing that this thing has on the outside is on the bottom here, you have this zipper here and you can pull out the helmet bag here. and it has three clips on here. And what you do is you take your helmet, you got a brand new nice helmet that you don't want to get scratched up you know, or stolen off your bike, you put it into this mesh pocket right here. Just put it in, just drop it in like that and bring it over to the top of your bag. There's a little adjustment on here that you can tighten up. There's the one clip up here and there are two clips on the side here and on the other side and it holds your helmet on the back so when you put this on your back you can take your helmet with you so you can show it it shows it holds your helmet in there and holds it very secure let me show you the sternum strap here Holds it in. It would be nice if these were adjustable up and down, but they're not. And it has a little like, elastic on this, which helps keep it out of the way when you don't use it. It's very cool. All right, right here is where the zipper is on the bottom of the bag and where you stow this helmet. And it stows away really nicely into this zipper. So when then you do put it on, when you're riding the motorcycle, your helmet will be on, and this is very aerodynamic. 
just flows with your back. It has a very, very, very nice rubber handle and well done on the uh, the webbing. It's sewn into the side of the bag there and it makes this carrying it really, really easy. I like the, uh, the handle on this. All right, so let's take a look at the inside of this bag. All right, we're looking at the interior pockets. This is the laptop bag area here and it holds my 15 inch laptop just fine in here it has a padded liner on this side and of course the outside of the bag is padded to pad the inside of this part here so your laptop is very well protected in here this little d-ring here and the two d-rings here on each side clips that hold the helmet towards the back of the bag here. This is the waist straps and I've tucked them in here because I don't use them. Um, it would have been really nice to be able to maybe Velcro this close on both sides or be able to tuck this whole thing in. But it is nice that you can take the buckles and tuck them away. This is a really stiff sturdy bag it's it's not a flimsy bag at all let's look at the uh, deep inside of these pockets here all right you got this one compartment right here and deep inside here you got i don't know if i can be able to get this a view for you on this oh, and there's another pouch right here it's kind of like a hidden pouch like the two on the outside are but you can put stuff in there can slide stuff in here in this little elastic area here you can keep stuff here I was keeping stuff like uh, sunglasses and some other stuff uh, and this is the main compartment here and it is made out of Cordura the mention of the bag is 12.5 inches by 5 inches by 18 inches so that's the outside and the bag weighs around 5.5 pounds this bag makes an excellent EDC bag, an everyday carry bag. I wouldn't re recommend this bag for weekend trips. Um, I don't, unless you're a very light packer like me, you probably could get away with it, but it's going to be a really tight fit. I would recommend a bigger bag. And if I was to guess, this is probably about maybe a 10 liter or a 15 liter bag on the inside so I'm not really sure uh, the plus thing about this bag is that you can wear it like you're going to work or just like an everyday day carry and then you could take your helmet with you all right guys I hope you enjoyed the uh, review on this bag I think it's a well-built bag we're carrying every day awesome bag uh, you can find the link down below in the description where to get this bag uh, and also you can find more details on vikingbags.com. I also have that link down below. I want to thank Viking Bags for sending this bag out to me uh, to review. Guys, if you like these types of videos, click on that subscribe button down below and then hammer the hell out of that bell and you'll get email notifications that I've uploaded a video. And if you'd like to become an insider and a supporter of Lone Star Rider, click on that link right up there and check out my Patreon site. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think. Catch you on the road. There we go. I don't like that shiny light. Nope. It's much better, which I will uh, show you over here. <laughs> The inside of this bag, I don't even know if you can see that. <laughs> nope, you cannot see that. We're going to have to do this inside. And guys, if you like these types of videos, uh, hang on, scoot back. Mm -hmm.